I'm professional steer wrestler Stockton Graves, and this is Rodeo Wrap. There's a look at Chad Rutherford riding soap bubbles in the bareback competition. Hi everyone and welcome into Rodeo Wrap. It is round number three of Super Series 5. Will Chad advance? Who will advance? This is the last opportunity to get out of the Super Series and go to the semifinals, which begin tomorrow. Let's see who makes the cut by going right to the guys who called all the action, Boyd Paul Hamus and Bob Tall. Thanks, Patty. That's 100% right. It is last chance for romance. Winner go home. A lot of great winners. I'm a little shocked, though, that Will Loomis is going home. Um, if you'll remember when we talked about some other Super Series, there's new names coming. Sure. Younger men, younger women, better horses, and maybe a little extra luck, too. Yeah, you bet. So, let's take a look at the highlights. In the rough stock events, we're going to begin with the bareback bronc riding. Now, this is a re-ride option for R.C. Landingham. He took it just before the bronc riding, and he parlayed it to an 84-point ride for the long-legged cowboy. Good job, R.C. Well, a little bit earlier, look at this Keenan Hayes from Colorado. He's a real deal, folks. We talked about him as a rookie for the last couple of years. No, 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 no. 85 points. He's going to take the big money. Yes, he is, and R.C. finished second, but really the board that matters the most is who moved on to the semifinals. Who are the four advancers out of Super Series 5? Keenan Hayes leaves it. Seven grand richer, Sam Peterson and Chad Rutherford, along with R.C. That re-ride paid off. That was just enough money to get him to advance. Let's go on to the Bronx, Bobby T. Okay, I want to go to Sage Newman. It's another Montana opportunity. He's going to be 84 and a half points, and this was just absolutely Jump and kick, spur bait, perfect, he did it. Yeah, and you want to know what that ride's going to look a lot like this ride because uh, Leighton Green was also 84 and a half points. Similar horses, similar ride, so they're going to split the top spot in Super Series 5 round number three. That's 2,500 a man, but who had all the money? Who are the top four advancers? It's going to be the guitar going to Canada's Leighton Green, our defending champion Sage Newman, only 750 behind. Isaac Diaz and Shorty Garrett are moving on. Now let's go to a Canadian champion in the bull riding. This is Jared Parsonage. Now he's going to be the only guy to make a qualified ride out of the eight tonight. 79 and a half points. He was first out. Everybody else thought they still had a shot. Well, there's the round. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> Jared in the winner's spot. Jared in the top spot. But four advancers, including Hanson, Spears, and Wade. I'm uh, I'm drawn to the guy that you said we've been calling a rookie for the last couple of years. You want to be a rookie one year. I know. But, but, but he's been age. riding. Well, no, but he's been riding so well at, at so many places. It feels like he's been at it for two I years, agree. right? Uh, because every time we see him, he, he wins. Every time. Even though he was a rookie last year, he just kept winning. And so you got to think that in that first Super Series, that first semifinal, you got Casey Field, Jess Pope, uh, Clayton Bigelow. I mean, and that guy rides just as well as those guys do. Is Keenan Hayes the new Casey Field? I don't know. We're going to find out at Houston. I'll tell you that yes, right now. Yes, we will. Let's find out who did all the advancing in the timed events, shall we? In uh, the tie-down roping, uh, Canada's Kyle Lucas is going to split the win with a 10.5. He had to take a wrap and a hooey to get it done, but it worked. Oh, look at the world champion, Chad Mayfield of Clovis, New Mexico. Step down, gathered two, two wraps up, even with a... Even with a problem, he's going to be 10-5 as well. There it is. Pickett wins that third, Webb fourth. Advancing out of the finals on Mayfield, uh, 6,500. He'll take Riley Webb, Ty Harris, and Riley Pruitt onto the semifinals with him. Now to the team rope, and all this team did was tear this Super Series up. I think they win like 16,000. I'm talking about Paul David Tierney and Tanner Braden. 5-9 would win the round tonight. Okay. I'll take it with that. Six, four, two, and 1,500. Team open. Paul Tierney. Paul Tierney and Braden, as Boyd said, 16,000. That's the biggest, maybe the biggest win we've had yet in this event or in a Super Series at Houston. Not bad, boys. Nope, not bad for the rest of the field either. A lot of talent there. Here we go to the steer wrestlers. All Montana, Timmy Sparing, former champion of rodeo, Houston. Is that 5-9 going to be enough to move him on? We're about to find out. But first, Bridger Anderson bounce. Chambers bounces back. Bridger Chambers. 
Well, it's going to be Montana at the top twice, twice. Then Riley Duvall for third. J.D. Struckness, Minnesota. And, yep, there they are, the four advancers. Duvall gets the guitar. The Arctic Cooler and all the cookies in the cookie jar in Super Series number five. On to the ladies' competition in the barrel racing tonight. Tacey Matthews, the Razorback from Arkansas, 1485. That raised some eyebrows right there. Well, when you get to run in the seventh position, that's where Molly Otto was coming in on the bottom of the ground, and she runs 1455. Talk about get the money with the fastest time, 3,000. Matthews going to get two, but who's going to advance? Molly Otto at the top, 7,500. Cassie Mowry's done well all along. Tacey Matthews and Wenda Johnson, a many-time champion. You know, well, Cassie actually kicked a barrel over tonight. It cost me about four points. Here's the breakaway roping. <laughs> J.J. Hampton, the 17-time champion of the world. And right behind her, Jordan Joe Hollibaugh. 4-5 for the first run, 3-2 for the second. And now let's stack them up in the round and the advances. Well, there is Raymond Hollibaugh's wife, Jordan Joe. She'll be at the top. J.J. was in there. But who's going to advance? Jordan Joe Hollibaugh. She's going to be up way out there, $750 to the lead. Danielle, Hallie Williams, the number one lady in the world. And J.J. Hampton slips in for a fourth place fit finish yeah and we don't have a lot of time left bobby t but uh i gotta tell you the guy that nobody wants to see advancing to a semifinal is shad mayfield he's a wolf and you can run him up against riley webb all the good guys tonight you can run him up all the world champions the past houston champions this guy could wolf his way to a fifty thousand dollar check well we're gonna have a beautiful young lady that is patty smith and she's still gonna talk to the wolf when we come back I wonder if he'll howl. I doubt it. Patty might, though. Great Stay name. with us to see what happens, okay? Thanks. I do believe in a cooler full of cold ones. Boy, he's fast on the ground. Now get your hands working, Yoshet. And welcome back to Rodeo Wrap. Joining me now, the champion of this Super Series in tie-down, Shad Mayfield. And Chad, you and I have been talking for the past couple of days because you've just been killing it every single night. What is it that's working so well for you here at Rodeo Houston? Uh, I love this setup here at Rodeo Houston. It's a long barrier and the calves are strong, which really fits me. Uh, it, bring, it really brings out the tough guys and the good horses. So I got a great horse and he makes it a lot easier. You know, and you seem so confident going into every round. I talked to you yesterday and I said, hey, you're my pick today. And, he, and you said, good choice. And then today, you um, we knew you wanted to win that guitar. You did. You're out there rocking it. How much does confidence just sort of play into this? It's big. I've had a lot of confidence coming here into Houston. I had a lot of luck last year, but was one out from making the final four round. But just with this setup, it fits my roping style so good. And uh, getting the win in my Super Series, coming into the semifinals, I have a lot of confidence. How much, like as you mentioned, you made it to the finals last year. Didn't go, didn't get that fifty thousand dollar check. But what can you take away from last year that may help you going into this weekend? I guess it just put a chip on my shoulder and makes me realize I need to be better this year and uh, rope a lot sharper than I did last year. One thing people may not quite understand is how much of it is the cowboy and how much is it your is it your horse? You've got a great horse named Platinum. I know that uh, means a lot to you, but can you kind of give us the breakdown on how that plays out? Yeah, uh, in the tight end rope, and the horse is 75% of what we do, and especially here with strong calves and a big arena, uh, they're even more than that, and it's important to have a good horse, and my horse is really great, so on big calves, no matter what, he's going to work and makes it a lot easier on me. All right, well, good luck the rest of the way. We'll be pulling for you. Thank you. All right, we've got to take a time out, but don't go anywhere. When we come back, Boyd and I will wrap it all up. Stay with us. Welcome back to Rodeo Wrap. Joining me, as promised, Boyd Polhamus and Boyd, all the Super Series, as you and Bob mentioned, in the books. Everything changes tomorrow for these last five days. Why don't you give the fans, anybody who's watching, kind okay. of a little brief rundown of what S that means. Still a little disappointed that Chad didn't howl, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, he didn't howl. So it's, this is what happens. We're in our first semifinal tomorrow. There's ten guys in it, okay, ten guys and gals. Four of them are going to advance to the finals on our final Sunday right away. Six of them will not. They'll end up going to a wild card, okay? Then our second semifinals happens on Thursday night. Four of them are going to advance to the semifinal or to the finals. The other six are going to go to a wild card. The thing that's different: we used to have one night with a wild card and twelve guys in it, and two would advance. We're now going to have two separate wild cards, where just the winner out of the six that didn't qualify out of their semifinal will eventually make it to the championship day on Sunday. 
So if we want to put it in football terms, we're basically we've gone into the you know the quarterfinals. That's right. We're going into the championship games, and then we go to the actual. Right. Super Bowl. So you got the wild card round, the divisional round, yep. and then the championship round and the Super Bowl, and that's exactly where we're at, Patty. It's it's playoff time. And we've got the best of the best that are here at Rodeo Houston anyway. Now the best of those best coming back for the playoffs. So yeah, I'm telling you what. Just that first super series, or that first semifinal in the bareback riding with Casey Field, Clayton Bigelow. It's going to be tough. Yep, it's going to be awesome to watch, and we hope you watch it right here with us on Valley Sports Southwest. Right now, we leave you with a look at tonight's Mutton Buster. Six-year-old from Waller. There goes Weston. He's picking up speed, and he takes it all the way to the other side. How did you learn how to do this? Did you practice someplace? No, I practiced on our neighbor's dog. The neighbor's dog? That must be a big dog? No. A little dog? Yeah.